You're back with Damon Tim at Single Malt Review, and it's time for another Sherry Monster via this Drinks by the Dram tasting set. And mm. today we're off to Isla, traditionally home of the Peat Monster. I know. Yeah, um, but sometimes the monstrosities combine mm. to form some of the most monstrously collectible mm. whiskey in the world. Yes. But uh, thankfully, this is not one of those problem drams. This is a, uh, a finish rather than anything too mm. exclusive. This is Bowmore 15. Yeah. Um, although Bumble 15, that's old. That's old Isla whiskey mm. at that point. So collectible, collectible enough. Mm. Part of Bowmore's core range, rather than being a special one-off or unique release like some of these sherry offerings. And we haven't tried much Bowmore on the channel at all. I don't think. No, we haven't. It's a shame because um, there is some stunning Bowmore. Bowmore is a. I don't know if you'd call it an overlooked Isla whiskey, but mm. it's certainly one of the ones that's maybe maintains a slightly lower profile. It's sort mm. of, it's certainly, it's no Ardbeg or Lafroy, that's for mm. sure, in terms of tooting its horn. Um, Bowmore just sort of stands around and waits for you to, you know, toot it for them, mm. which is fair enough. Um, they, they make whiskey and they make very, very good mm. whiskey, and if they're happy, you know, just doing that, then um, all the more power yeah. to them. Um, this one, as you say, part of their standard range, but a wee bit different mm. in that it is a like a rolling sherry release, not a one-and-done, one-off kind mm. of a bespoke thing. This is something you can always yeah. get. And um, it is a bourbon and maybe a little bit of sherry in there. It's probably House of Beaumont Mature, but mm. then it has a three-year, and that's a that's a pretty whopping finish there, yeah. three-year finish in Oloroso sherry. So mm. um, no no slouch for the sherry That would be called characters. a secondary maturation by some distillers. Typically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a, my kind of a long finish. So I don't know if it's natural colour or not. So I did good. I would, if they told me it was, I would certainly yeah. believe them. Well, I'll say this. A lot of Beaumont is not natural colour. Right. Um, but when you're finishing an Oloroso Sherry, maybe it doesn't matter. So mm. could be, could be. But similarly, I'd be very, very surprised if this was um, unchilled filtered. I think mm. we're dealing with the conventional conventional right. model here. But forty three percent, so it could go either way. But... Mm. Yeah, well, well, we'll see once we pour yeah. water in. But yeah, lovely, lovely, rich colour. Mm, it is. However, nice it was achieved. And on the nose, oh, it's, ah, it's been a while. Yeah. It's been a, it's mm. been an island minute here since yeah. we've had a proper peated whiskey. And Bowmore, something about their peatiness I like. It's intense without being all encompassing. It reminds me mostly of, um, it has a real tobacco smoke quality to it, like pipe tobacco or cigar tobacco. Yeah. I, I like Bowmore too. They're not my, mm. they're not my favourite Isla distillery or anything, but they are very, they're one of the more sort of pickable ones because as you say there there's something mm. there's a tenor to their peat which is a wee bit unlike yeah. a lot of the others. There is a there's a dry, coaly minerality mm. that comes through on Beaumont. There's none of this they do not have the smoky bacon that mm. you get from a Colila and they don't quite have the really, really tangy iodine that you do mm. from an Ardbeg or a Lafroy. It was they've kinda of got their own thing going yeah. on. I tried Bowmore Tempest at a festival some years ago and it, was, it had a really intense, leafy, moist cigar smoke mm. to it. That made me think that, that tobacco association has stuck with all Bowmore for me since then. It's a clean, a clean mm. kind of a peat. Yeah. So here, aside from that, what else are we smelling? <sighs> How does the sherry mm. come across? It's a real, there's a stewed fruit mm. and sort of candied orange peel. Yeah, some uh, juicy, damp... Um, semi-dried fruit. It's actually prunes. It's pretty strong on the nose, despite being mm. only forty-three. There's a real, there's a keenness coming yeah. in here. It's probably this room starting to warm mm. up as well. As summer proves, it's got something mm. left in the tin. Yeah. Ah, oh, I do like that though. The um, oh. more you smell it too, the less the peat overwhelms mm. the sherry and the fruit, and it just it, it balances out more. There's mm. a pretty strong vanilla in here as well. There's quite a. If you've ever had an a, uh, a good strong orange almond cake that's mm. really coming through here um, but as with any other whiskey that that huge barrier of peat makes mm. it that much more difficult to really know accurately how close did we come what well, are the professional the nosy notes from the box set tell us to expect it to be dark and punchy agreed sherry notes juicy Corinth raisins spices creamy mochaccino and sweet dates mocha is an interesting pick Corinth raisins, eh? Mm, as opposed to uh, uh, anyone else's raisins. Yeah, show me specific. Show me single sourced artisanal. Show me, raisins. show me five raisins. I'll point you along from Corinth. Yeah. <laughs> Good grief. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> what's on the palate? Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. Oh wow, that's 
Mm. That's pretty mild in the pizza yeah. department. It's a good pizza, though. It's mild, but it is really mm. traveling. It's like biting on the end of a well-used pipe. That's just yeah, being yeah. lit. Yeah, it's that's a, a real, mm. that's a thick whiskey, too. It that is has a, got a... I say, I'm not a pipe a smoker, weight. but this is a pipe smoker's whiskey. That's mm. got a real viscosity to yeah. it there. The, uh, the peatiness and the sherry, I think, are, in, are perfectly balanced here. This is on the, the, the scales. They are just contributing equally in just such a good way. So it's got the right blend of sweet this and smoke, of sharp and smooth. It is, the, well, point and counterpoint. This is dangerously delicious. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Um, anyway, I think better better without water as well. Hmm. That that unctuous fruit syrupy. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Heavy that, oils. The water oils kind of dries that out a wee bit and mm. brings the peat back in. Yeah, the peat has more of a, a um, mineral property to it, but it's still got some of that, that uh, what I think of as a leafy tobacco yeah. quality. Weirdly, that kind of turns it back into more conventional more. You'd think that would that would normally really aggravate the fruits and bring them forward, but mm. it's kind of brought them a wee bit into the background. This is mm. much drier, more mineral. I like that with the water. That is that is doing things well for me. They well, had a very very restrained pour though. What an interesting whiskey. Yeah. There's a good amount of fruit. It's still some of those juicy semi dried fruits. Yeah. I think prunes, dates, raisins again. And then there's still orange peel mm. here, and it's nice and long as well. <coughs> weirdly, weirdly sweet going into the finish. I mm. guess there's just some stealth vanilla there that's still kind of smouldering away under all these other sherry and then peat, otherwise masking it. But that's really pretty interesting. That's, I guess it was a you know a three year three year finish. Yeah, double it's maturation a, as you yeah, say. Yeah, three years um, finish. That's that is going mm. to do some real um, work on the palate. I think yeah. that really has. That's um that's an outright sort of soupy whiskey. That's mm. hugely concentrated. Oh, the um, palate notes, from tasting notes here, speak of this being rich, woody, pine oil, and syrupy, a lovely, creamy toffee, and malt, mm. and smoky. It's hard to disagree with any of that. Yeah. Especially because of the, um, the oiled wood, like the sort of pipe stem, gnawing on, a, on the stem of a freshly lit pipe. This, this is a whiskey that I would go through way too quickly mm -hmm. um, than it deserved because mm. it's, it, is, it is quite complex, quite thoughtful. It's also really Moorish. This is just it's a, it's really, a... It is a cerebral drop It is a real thinker, but also a drinker. It is, it is so easy to go into, but mm. it's just, you could really take your time and just well, that's really how I, just how I introduce it. myself. Yeah. Um, a thinker and a drinker. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, ideally at exactly the same time, mm. um, like on the show, <laughs> at my best. All right, um, mm. scores. This yeah. is really good. Um, mm. This might be a 91. Yeah. This might be a 91. This is not mucking around mm. at all. I need to see how astronomical the price is on this one. For a 15-year-old, yeah. sherry matured, well, sherry finished, um, Isla, I know it's going to be a bit astronomical, mm. but... You know exactly what galaxy we're in. Mileage may vary <laughs> there. I mean, was this and was did this have Ardbeg written on the label? We'd be would be in the gamma quadrant. But um, about Bowmore, they tend to play it a little. Um, mm. You know, it's, I'm not going to say it's an everyman's whiskey because no no whiskey is an everyman's whiskey now. But um, I think this might be on the affordable side of affordable. Hopefully, mm. I don't know. But what's your score? Very close for me. This is um, possibly being unreasonably generous because we haven't had enough, enough bow more lately, so I'm rating it higher for sheer novelty factor, but 90 points for me. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. stunning, so easy to drink, so easy to think about. It's a deep, yeah, rich whiskey. That's a nice one for sure. Yeah. Perfect balance of age and peat and sherry, just all wrapped up nicely into this hugely expressive package. Yeah. And speaking of impressive packages, that was a damn good selection by Drinks by the Dram on yeah. that one. What do they call that one? Is that this the... is the Sherry Monster Sherry Tasting Monster Set. Shit. I believe you still have one to go in here. Oh, goodness, but, do we? Uh, and, yeah. We, we left one track. behind. Oh, oh it's yes. the conventional one. It's the we Rothers. We still have one oh, to go. Well, we hang about for the Rothers. But, yeah. Coming um, soon to a whiskey channel near you. In fact, very near. Probably linked down below or something. Probably. probably. Mm. That assumes I'm onto it, yeah. so you know, all bets are off. But mm. yeah. So no, really good stuff from Bowmore. I'm going to have to yeah, check back in with this one mm. um, and see what else they're doing. Been neglecting them so far, far too, too soon. A quality yeah. product. Mm. All right, check back in. We'll finally get to that last one sooner or later. Slander.